Hello and welcome to this tutorial video from Android TV Boxes. In this video today I'm going to show you how to edit and add items to the menu system inside Aeon Knox. For the purpose of this video tutorial I'm going to be recording this on a Windows device but the skin and the processes available work on any system that supports Aeon Knox. I'm currently running on Gotham 13.2 this does work on Gotham as well as the new XBMC release which is Kodi, Kodi 14. So what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into this. Now as you can see here I have my uh, menu system defined with separate genres or content uh, types depending on which menu system you're in. For example we have Genesis, this will take me straight into the Genesis add-on as well as the movies or TV show sections. Sky Movies will open up a particular add-on with a particular type of content, in this instance Sky Movies. What I'm interested in though here is this UK Live TV. Okay, um, I'm going to add uh, some content into this and I'm also going to add a new menu system and what I'm going to do is I'm show you how to do that. So we're going to scroll across the system and skin settings. Okay, This brings up the menu system that allows me to edit the skin settings specifically and not XBMC. I'm going to navigate across to the home window and set up the AE on Knox system. On the left hand side you'll see a list of all the uh, menus that we had enabled on the main screen. On the right hand side you'll see the particular actions. If I scroll down you'll notice that on the right hand side where it says enabled you'll notice one with a t without a tick. So there's no tick in that box. That means it's not enabled. It's not on the menu system. What I'm interested in is I'm interested in making changes to this. So underneath TV shows I'm going to navigate down to manage submenu and you'll see here most popular on the left hand side you'll see that it's a video add-on on this screen the way that it's laid out is as follows on the left hand side is your existing menus that you've created inside the submenu the center column is the action so uh, you can add um, the the menus you can delete them you can move them up or down you can reset the menu system if you had a default uh, arrangement in place and then on the right hand side is the actual end point so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to add and you'll appear on the left hand side that none is there now which means that there's now a new menu um, in place but I haven't defined it for anything I'm going to navigate up the top to type and I'm going to press it three times. Notice on the right hand side where it says common 16, that's going to change. Two, three. And we're now on the add on selection. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select Oro. There we go. So, Oro TV very popular add-on for browsing TV shows. Now depending on the add-on you can actually browse deeper into the menu system and create menu endpoints at those uh, entry points inside the add-on itself. So you'll see here title release, rating, genres, favorite, subscription, search, etc. I'm not interested in that. I'm actually going to just create the submenu entry that's going to open me up straight into Oro and then from within Oro I can browse to whatever I need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select create shortcut here. Now you can see there it's appeared on the left hand side. So I'm going to exit the menu system editor now. Go back to the main screen, wait a second and you'll see that it, a building menus appeared. If I navigate over right to the TV shows you'll see that Oro has now appeared. If I open Oro, the Oro add-on will appear. It's as simple as that. Now looking at my menu system though it doesn't match everything else. You'll see here that most popular is in yellow but Oro TVs in white so that's I need to change that so how do I change that simple Let's navigate over to system skin settings set up the Aeon Knox main window navigate down to TV shows or your particular men menu entry manage the sub menu scroll down to Oro TV and what I'm going to do is click set label I'm going to delete what's in there now here's a really interesting feature um, and this works within add-ons and also favorite systems and, and titles etc. If you start um, the label with the open square bracket color space then the color in small and then close it off like that 
you'll notice there immediately on the left hand side it's changed colour but there are other things I can do with that as well if I set label and I navigate across to just after I've closed the initial opening tag and set B that's going to set a bold tag see how the case has now changed slightly it's become bigger now I can also then break out into that and I can go I for italic I didn't finish that properly notice how I didn't close it with the correct tag it then died fixed it left hand side is now in italic now this will instantly appear on the menu system what you see here on the left will appear on the menu so I'm going to set it to match everything else that I've got but I want to emphasize TV okay so I'm going to close color and then I'm going to open another color I'm going to go blue in fact no I'm not I'm going to go orange that looks nice I like that navigate back to the main screen by pressing back on your remote or your keyboard TV shows ROTV and that's it it's as simple as that now you can then extend obviously out into the main menu system and def define endpoints into your main menus now the menu system inside AE Unknox is very very extensive and you can do a lot of things um, on the uh, editing of the actual main menu you would select default select action and in there you would see a load of different options to do now in here you can select some common shortcuts of which will take you to various places within XBMC um, you can also select your video library, your music library, go to some dependent pictures, you can go to a specific add-on, um, you know, and navigate through those and then select that and it will just create that entry point for the main menu, not the sub-menu. Um, but I haven't got this enabled so I'm not going to set it up, but what I can do is I'll show you that by clicking on videos and add-ons and say for example I want YouTube. Okay. It's asking me for a YouTube username and password. Don't need one, so I'm just going to create login here, entry here. I'm going to select enabled. Go back to the main screen. And there's YouTube. It's as simple as that. Now I can apply color to that as well. So if I right navigate over again to system, skin settings, edit label for YouTube I can then go blue the menu system rebuild there's YouTube open it up there's the YouTube add-on it's as simple as that so uh, again, um, this is Android TV Boxes. If there's anything else that we can show you of, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, the description fields below or in the comment fields as it were. Um, alternatively, if there's anything else that you'd be interested in, please subscribe to our video base on YouTube. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Android TV Boxes. That's B-O-X-E-S. The link's in the description below. Um, alternatively, if you're in the market for an Android TV box and you're in the UK, Find us on, 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 on the internet website, androidtvboxes.co.uk, where we sell a range of boxes. Thank you very much.